today I'm going to show you how to replace the screen on your HP ProBook 4530S. Uh, first thing you do is always make sure there is no power going to the unit. Uh, remove the battery and hold down the power button for 15 seconds to discharge. Once you're done with that, you'll want to go around on the two bottom corners of the screen and remove these little plastic protective covers that are covering the screw holes on both sides. Then remove those two screws. Then you'll want to go around the edge of your screen bezel, gently popping it loose. Okay, now you'll need to remove these top two screws holding the back in place. And you'll need to remove the screws on the side of the frame holding the screen to the frame. It might help if you loosen this bottom. You don't, it's not necessary to remove it, but if you loosen it, it makes it easier to get to the bottom screw. Now that you have all the screws out of the screen, you want to gently lay the screen down. And now you'll notice the connector that connects your screen to the motherboard. It's held in place by a little piece of tape. You want to gently pull that tape up. And ever so carefully remove this connector from the old screen. We will get our new screen from LaptopScreens.com. It's got a nice protective cover over it to keep it clean until we get it installed. You want to lay it back down where the old screen was and very carefully line up the connector and plug it in same way the other screen was plugged in. Until it snaps. You want to put your new screen in place. couple of these holes lined up where your screws are going to go. And screw it back in. Now you can remove this cover in advance, but I always leave it in place until I'm done just to give the screen a little added protection. Okay, now you can put these retaining screws back in.
and you can fit your bezel back in place making sure that none of your wires are misaligned if they are simply put them back into the channels that they're supposed to go into At this point, you can put your battery back in, as I have done, and go ahead and start the computer up while you put in these last two screws. and the two screw covers. And that's it. You have uh, successfully replaced your laptop screen on your HP ProBook 4530S.